Greetings and salutations. Thank you for lending an ear to The Voice of the Times, the Saturday, February 6, 2021. For today's editorial, BSP faces a tough choice on MSME lending. In spite of a law mandating more bank lending to micro, small, and medium enterprises or MSMEs, and in spite of the modification of some regulatory requirements by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas or BSP to encourage more lending to MSMEs, the Philippine banking sector continues to fall shamefully short of its responsibilities. This leaves the BSP with a tough choice between cracking down harder on erring banks or allowing credit availability to MSMEs to remain at a relatively low level. Neither choice is appealing, as both pose a number of potential wider risks. Under Republic Act 6977, or the Magna Carta for MSMEs, banks are obliged to set aside 10% of their total loanable funds for lending to MSMEs. To make it easier for banks to comply with the mandate and to encourage more lending in the midst of the pandemic-related economic downturn last year, the BSP implemented a change in the bank's reserve requirements to allow them to count new MSME loans toward their reserve requirement ratio. None of that seemed to make any difference in loosening Philippine banks' tight-fistedness when it comes to lending to small businesses. According to BSP data released earlier this week, for the first nine months of 2020, banks set aside just 464.34 billion pesos for MSME lending, only a little more than half of the 860.76 billion pesos that should have been set aside, based on the banking sector's 8.60 trillion pesos in total loanable funds for the period. The amount of loans made available to MSMEs in the first three quarters of 2020 was 15% lower than the 547.02 billion pesos extended in the same period in 2019. Banks have made no secret of their reluctance to lend money to anyone. The BSP's third quarter 2020 Senior Bank Loan Officer Survey recently showed that 47.7% of respondent banks indicated tighter overall credit standards for loans to enterprises of all sizes during the July to September period. Reasons given for the tightening of credit included a less favorable economic outlook, the deterioration in the profitability of banks' portfolios and profiles of borrowers, and reduced tolerance for risk. This position of the banks is understandable to some extent, as they have been adversely affected by the pandemic as everyone else has been. Over the past year, banks' non-performing loans, or NPLs, have increased to above 3% of their loan portfolios. It is not a crisis necessarily, but given the bank's normally very low NPL ratio, it still represents an alarming increase in the amount of bad debt they are carrying. At the same time, the damage the pandemic has caused to the MSME sector, which represents more than 99% of all Philippine businesses, has been equally distressing. According to recent reports attributed to the Department of Trade and Industry even now, when the economy seems to be at least gradually improving, MSMEs are going out of business at a rate of 300 per day. The sector desperately needs as much economic support as can be spared for it. Easy access to credit from the banks, which it might be pointed out are in no danger of collapsing even if the pandemic has somewhat constrained their productivity, is one relatively easy answer to that need. Something needs to be done, but we can appreciate the dilemma the BSP may feel it is in with respect to the MSME lending shortfall. Imposing harsher measures on the banks would essentially force the banks to lower credit standards and take on more potentially bad debt. On the other hand, allowing the status quo to continue almost certainly will result in many more business failures and the loss of jobs and incomes they provide. Either choice has a number of long-term negatives to the economy as a whole. The leadership of the BSP and the Monetary Board have done an exemplary job with their part in steering the economy through difficult times, but it is clear the challenges they face are not getting any easier. We certainly hope that they are up to the task of finding ways to boost the MSME sector without causing undue harm elsewhere. And that's the editorial for Saturday, February 6, 2021. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to our digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And listen to The Voice of the Times.